Provision Summary for RE GCC 91 Judaism Paper 2 Part 1 Top Tips SA is for Sources of Wisdom and Authority. This is needed to secure the high level mark. The word in blue are the different te understandings. I apologise if I pronounce any words wrong. 2.1 Beliefs and Teachings The Nature of the Almighty The main Tenach the Tanakh is the Jewish scripture teachings about God states that God is one, where God's oneness is seen in the unity of creation. God is the creator. God is the creator of the universe and his creation is good. God the lawgiver. God gave laws to help people look after the earth in the way he wanted. God the judge ensures the good people, which are the people that keep the God's laws, are rewarded and the evil people which are the people who don't keep the God's laws, are punished. The sources of wisdom and authority is that in Isaiah 33, it says that the Lord is our lawgiver. In, in Deuteronomy 6, colon 4, it says that the Lord our God, the Lord is one. The Shekinah, the Shekinah is God's presence in the world. The Torah, which is the law book, speaks of God's presence, the Shekinah, with Moses to guide him through the wilderness to the promised land. It is important for Jews because Jews can come across God's presence at any time and it is easier for Jews to search and contact God. The different understandings of the Shekinah are that some people believe it is the various ways in which God is related to the world. The sources of wisdom and authority is that in Exodus 33 it says that my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. The Messiah. The Messiah will bring the Messianic age, which is when all people will live at peace and rebuild the temple in Jerusalem. Jews believe that the Messiah will be a human and close to God. The belief in the coming of the Messiah is important for Jews because it is one of the 13 principles of faith. The 13 principles of faith is a summary of the Jewish beliefs. Some Orthodox rabbis, an Orthodox, a rabbi is an ordained religious leader teach that the Messiah won't come until all Jewish people observe the mitzvot fully. The sources of wisdom and authority is that in the 13 principles, number 12, it says that I believe with, with perfect faith in the coming of the Messiah. The covenant at Sinai was an agreement between God and Jews and stated that if people kept the 613 laws given to Moses on Sinai, they would be God's special people. It is important for Jews because they have a duty to keep the mitzvot, the mitzvot is the commandments, and will fulfil their destiny of bringing the world to worship God. The Jews see the Decalogue, the Decalogue is the Ten Commandments. The Jews see the Decalogue as special because they are to be kept by all Jews and by applying them to a Jew's life, they will act against greed. The sources of wisdom and authority is that in the Decalogue, in Exodus 20, Sorry, the source of wisdom and authority is that the Decalogue is in Exodus 20. For example, the sixth Decalogue is do not murder. The Covenant with Abraham. The Covenant with Abraham is an agreement between Abraham and God. God's side is that he will make a great nation for Abraham's descendants and to give the land of Canaan, Canaan is in Israel, to Abraham's descendants. Abraham's side of the Covenant is that every male descendant is to be circumcised. This is seen in the Brit Miller, where Jewish ba baby boys are circumcised. Abraham's side is also to worship God alone. The Brit Chayim is the welcoming of Jewish girls into the Jewish faith. The covenant with Abraham is important to Jews because Jews believe they have a right to live in Israel. The essay is that God said to Abraham in Genesis, This land will be an everlasting possession to you, and your descendants and I will be their God. The sanctity of life is the belief life is holy and sacred and belongs to God. The pikuash nefesh is the concept that the mitzvot can be ignored to save life. For example, if a mother's life is at risk, abortion must be allowed in order to save a mother's life. This is seen, the, the pikuash nefesh is seen in the Leviticus where it states, do not do anything that endangers your neighbour's life. Pikuash Nefesh is important for Jews because in today's complex world, 
as a means of deciding whether or not to break the mitzvah. Orthodox Jews don't allow a transplant surgery because there is a mitzvah which states dead bodies must not be interfered with. The moral principles and the mitzvot. The Moses received the 630 mitzvot, the mitzvot of the commandments, on Mount Sinai, which are recorded in the Torah. The Torah is the law book, and Jews are to observe them. Jews must decide whether or not to follow the mitzvot of their own free will. Free will is a, a Jew can choose whether to do good or evil. It is important for Jews to understand the mitzvot, so they can keep the mitzvot properly, and they can develop their relationship with God. This is because it is God reaching out to humans by the mitzvot. The mitzvot isn't important for liberal Jews because they don't believe the mitzvot came to Moses directly from God, so it's a personal choice to keep it or not. The essay is that in Deuteronomy it says that choosing to obey the mitzvot is a life or death choice. Jewish beliefs about life after death. The souls of the righteous ascend to heaven, which is Gan Eden, and the souls of ordinary people go to hell, which is Geh Inom, to be punished and their souls purified. Belief in life after death is important for Jews because it is the teaching of the Torah, the Torah is the communication from God, and the teaching of the Talmud, the Talmud is the writings on Jewish law, which Jews should follow. Belief in life after death is one of the 13 principles of faith, thus it is important for Jews. Some believe only the righteous, which are good people, will be resurrected. Others believe everyone will be resurrected. The essay is that Daniel says that multitudes who sleep in the dust of the earth will awake, some to everlasting life. Thank you for watching and I do have more revision videos available. Please subscribe and comment what I should do next.